from Chichancy Park here in Fresno, California. Jesse Bam Rodriguez, 13-0 with nine KOs. He's only 21 years old, 67-inch reach. That's two inches shorter than Alejandro Burgos, who is the underdog, but plenty of experience, and he thinks he can pull off the upset. He is 18-4-1 with 15 knockouts. So Rodriguez in the white trunks. Jose Alejandro Burgos, El Nino, in the black. Burgos has an 0-2 record in America. His other 21 fights all coming in Mexico. You can see the, the flashes and the similarities, how he keeps his hands up and he shifts to the right, and how he dips down like Lomachenko, Rodriguez does. Tries Looks to step for the nice around. shot. Tries to step around that front foot, which with a southpaw and a righty, there can always be that battle of the lead foot. So he's being very smart, stepping around it just like Loma. Loma and Usyk, we should say. They, they, yeah, they, don't forget about Usyk. Yeah, they both have that, that southpaw style where they shift down to the, the right knee and they look for the right angle. That's also a benefit because if you're dipping down, your opponent's going to think, okay, that's where his head is, and they shoot there, and then you move, and that exposes them. Great point. I will say this, by the way. This is Jessica McCaskill's first time working with us. I think you've been outstanding so far. All right, thank you. I don't know if Sergio's impressed. He's a tougher, he's a tougher <laughs> sell than me. Her, I just gave her the thumbs up. Nice left oh, hand yes. right there. I am going to bring this up, Sergio. We see here that Burgos has white gloves on. <laughs> you know how much I hate yeah. white gloves. I mean, they're just, you know, they're easy to spot. Nice pick them up, hand. pick them up. Seems like Rodriguez is very, very comfortable floating around. Has very decent footwork, nothing too heavy, not leaning on the front, not leaning right, on the back. Stop, break, get out of there. Protection. Jessica, what's your favorite uh, drill in the gym to work on footwork to improve your footwork? Oh, strength and conditioning. Um, my training with strength and conditioning, they have me doing all kinds of stuff. They got me hopping over hurdles. They got bands on my legs. I just like to work out. I like to get better. So anything, I just tell them, throw whatever you want at me, and I'll do it. Sergio, you made a career off of the way you moved in the ring. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it, it was football drills for me. We, we concentrate a lot on, on uh, foot speed. Oh, nice one-two for Rodriguez. Split the guard perfectly. Right, fuera. Get out. Get out of the Only 21 Ooh. years old. Turn pro at 17 years old in Mexico. Cabezas, watch your heads, guys. Rodriguez with his fourth fight in California, first time in Fresno. He's fought in Texas, California, Nevada, and Mexico. Déjalo ir. Get back. Pull up. I'd like to see more jabs, more crisp, fast jabs from Rodriguez. He's, he's, he's in there with Burgos, who's West fighting him. He's looking for the right combinations, but he can break the tempo with some nice jabs. Rodriguez can. Pies, watch your you know, feet, we're, we're talking about Jesse Rodriguez being a young fighter, 21. Burgos not exactly old himself. He's just 26. So you like to think he has plenty miles left on his tires. But he has struggled recently. He's 1-2-1 and one in his last four fights after winning 17 of his first 19 fights. Rodriguez has a very tight guard. Everything to the body is missing. Everything to the head is missing. It, not all fighters can do that. They open up and then they stay open, drop the hands to the, to the chest, not the chin. He's doing a great job on defense. Catching and countering everything, yep. Rodriguez. That's a free gentleman. Step back and punch. Mano Libres. Right hand to the body for Burgos. One, two for Bam. And you always get that front foot battle when it's a southpaw and an orthodox fighter. Correct, Jessica? That's right. you got to be careful here. And as we said before, Rodriguez has a great way of stepping around, pivoting, and throwing, throwing off Burgos with his aim. Body shot on the inside there by Rodriguez. Sneaky little body shots like that. That's what takes the fight out of the fighter. Blood beginning to trickle out of the nose of Jesse Rodriguez. Good counter left, and then an uppercut. Rodriguez scoring now more often. 
Rodriguez just letting the hands fly. He's not really putting that, a lot of power behind those shots, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Just let the let the gloves do the work. Just right, stop. Let Break. the punches Break. flow. Breathe. You see Rodriguez here not wanting to be held. He's not holding back. He's getting out of there, getting back to his stance, and setting up for the Ten next seconds. set yes, of punches. Pan la campana. Stop at the bell. Stop at the bell. Round four of ten. Jesse Rodriguez in the white trunks. Jose Burgos in the black. Getting right back on that jab, like you said, Sergio. That's that's the only thing I want to see a little bit more of. But you know, when when you're that athletic with your lower body and 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 you're so shifty, getting getting those angle angles and pivoting, you know, you forget about the jab. Oh, nice inside left hand, and that wobbled Burgos oh. a little bit. His foundation, yeah, seems to be destabilized. And they're calling before the storm. A left hand buckles the knees, and down goes El Nino. Rodriguez Cinco. caught an angle and caught him with Seis. that left-right combination Siete. that Bugos did not see coming. Estás bien? Estás bien? ¿Cómo te llamas? Okay. Let's see what kind of finisher Bam Rodriguez is. Burgos seems to be sitting there waiting. Easy prey. Rodriguez pushing the pedal down. Keeping good distance to make sure he gets those long punches off and he's not being held, but now he's holding on for dear life. Yeah, the referee taking a really good look at Burgos right now as he backs up to the ropes again, keeps his hands down. And there it was again. They'll wave it off. A good stoppage. It's over. Jesse Bam Rodriguez with his 14th win and his 10th knockout. He missed that straight left hand right there, but he got that angle, and this is the shifty angles that I'm talking about. Once he gets a position, boom, he caught him with the right uppercut, that left hook that came around the guard of Burgos. You can't get hit that solidly in the chin and expect to get up and fight. Not forgetting the body, Bam Rodriguez and Raul Caiz almost falling over Burgos there, but doing the right thing, stopping this fight. David Diamante makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, please get a nice round of applause from both fighters. <laughs> Referee Raul Gai Sr. calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 23 seconds of round number four. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated, Jesse Bay. Rodriguez. So six straight KO wins for Jesse Rodriguez. Sergio, how close is he to being ready for a world title? Well, look, he, he, he's obviously gifted and talented. He's precocious. At 17 years old, turned pro. So he's going to be more advanced than the average boxer. I believe Fernando Vargas won a world title at 21 years old. It's not too far away for Jesse Rodriguez. I'll be honest with you.